You want to make some danger juice with a fruit that's probably growing in your neighborhood around about now? Come on. Introducing the Elder Tree. It should be glorious. I'll stand back so you get a better view. Absolutely glorious. Mm. Easily distinguished by its deep, groovy bark and green hue of all of that lovely algae and moss growing on the side of it. Um, in the springtime, in early, in early to late spring, you'll get some beautiful white flowers in little bunches. The tiny little white flowers in bunches about this big. And then, <coughs> excuse me, I had to cough. And then, uh, in the summertime, you get berries. Now, let me show you why we call them danger juice. I mean, I'm not going to show you because that would be dangerous, but I will explain. Come with me. So I call it danger juice or danger jam or whatever you're making. It doesn't really matter uh, because they're poisonous. <laughs> but stay with me because I'm not advocating that you eat poisonous things and you drink poisonous things. Don't do that. That's silly. Essentially, they contain some chemicals, one of them being cyanide. So you have to be very careful and you have to cook it. You have to cook it. You must cook it. Now, when the berries are green, do not pick. When the berries are red, do not pick. When the berries are black, is when you pick, and you'll see there's still some red ones in there. You're gonna want to remove them, and it's tricky. Just so that we're clear, it's this. So obviously, first step that we have to do in order to make our danger juice is to gather them. It's also probably worth mentioning that the juice is called danger juice to me anyway. It's my that's what I call it. Um, not because of the poisonous habit of the uncooked berry, but uh, more to do with the fact that a little bit much of your danger juice or danger jam can lead to some tummy issues. Basically, if you have too much, you might poop yourself, so don't have too much. Be careful, okay. First thing we're gonna do is grab our, ah, oh, there's crap in that. Fixed. So we'll just gather up a bunch, drop them in our basket, and we'll just fill this. This bunch is a no-no. This bunch is a yes-yes, but those red ones, no-nos. We have to be quick because evidently the, the birds like them too. <laughs> now, when wild foraging, ethical consumption is important. Leave most of the fruit that you take and the most of the plant that you take on the plant for the wildlife. But when you're growing your own and you're cultivating your own, take as much as you like. If you want to feed some to the birds, that's okay too. And now that we have a bunch, we're going to take them home, we're going to prepare them, and we're going to make some danger juice. I'm sorry, Mr. Harvestman, I didn't know you were there, but you can't stay there. We'll find you a new home. Now it's time to go home. And we're home! Hello. So, but first we have to get them all off the stems. This is a long process. We find all the green ones, and because we don't want those. We're left with it. Okay, we're not going to make a lot. We're not going to make loads. We're going to make a bit and see if it works. We don't want that. No. But first, we need to wash the berries. Um, Mm -hmm. Move the dishes. Thank you. Ew. Your hands might get really sticky. Wear gloves or rubbing alcohol. Either of those two works. We now have to strain the berries. He has made coffee. Put berries into zip. And we're just gonna go over them once more with the water. Because these berries are poisonous, they have to be cooked. I wasn't sure if we have to cook them in order to make wine or <laughs> Anyway, sorry. Anyway, because the berries are poisonous, they have to be cooked. So we're just assuming that they also have to be cooked to make wine. Um, in order to do that, I'm just going to make it very simple. Um, if I'm doing it wrong, obviously you can tell me that. I'm probably not going to listen to you though. I like to do things my way. Pan. Pan. Not pot. Pan. Well, just a pan. In goes the berries. Danger berries. Yum. <laughs> Generally, with this amount, I would add about a cup of water. I do have measuring cups. But I'm not going to use them. <laughs> trying to give me measuring cups. What? No. That hit my face. <laughs> Instead, I shall use this. That's about a cup, right? You know nothing. Shut up. And then we cook that. I'm gonna say a low heat for some time. How much time do you think? Like an hour. 
That's how he like like jump. Alright, did you win now? What? Ooh, they smell nice. Nathan pointed out that they smell like spaghetti hoops, and I can't unsmell it. Can't decide if that's bad or not. You don't need yeast. I hope I have yeast. I'm pretty sure there's yeast in the cupboard. Ah, that's hot. Pretty sure there's yeast up on the table. Ew! Why is that sticky? Move! Mama! I need to wash my hands. You might have to go get yeast. Go get yeast. And now we're gonna bring our danger berries up to a little simmer before we strain it. And then I don't know what the next step is because I've never done this before. They really do smell like spaghetti hoops. I can't, I wish smell a vision was a thing because. Would it be telescent or smell a vision? Not important. You, uh, you, it smells like spaghetti hoops. <laughs> Still got loads left, so if this is a fail, it's okay. Okay, so now that they've been doing that, they look about ready to eat meat. I'm going to take them off up, and we're going to let that cool before we strain it. Okay, so first, we have our yeast. We apparently have to feed it. More than enough pets. Now I have to feed yeast. I have to feed it with sugar. That's all I've heard. So we need sugar. We have sugar. We have yeast. I don't know how much yeast. <laughs> I don't know how much sugar either. Like, some. Okay, it has cooled. It really smells of spaghetti hoops. The yeast has risen. Now I have no idea what to do with this. This could be dangerous. Could be safe. Was that the wrong lid? No. Well, unfortunately, my elderberry drink didn't quite quite work. Ah, uh, as it happens with a lot of things that you try for the first time, um, I just didn't get it right. And because I simply refuse to look at all of the yum instructions, it's a lot of trial and error. But that's okay because I grow my own berries, and we can just try again. 